great punch landed with so much power. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. The left hook and not this kick. He has to keep throwing that hook. Oh! Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable. And just like that, we have arrived at our second round, Robert Whitaker. And Joel Romero splits the guard, lands the right hand. Huge elbow there. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. If I lose this, I am definitely, oh my God. Oh my God, look how much this shit lagging. And now the game start. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of... Making assholes, you definitely going on the goddamn shit. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Big punch lands over the top. And he lands. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful diving strike lands. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Whitaker's got the full mount. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. You told you. I told you. You dumbass boy. What's your dumbass up out of here?